Hello students, welcome to the session of Civil Engineering, Societal and Global Impacts. Let's discuss in detail about the wastewater treatment and the futuristic method for the wastewater treatment and what can be implemented and why wastewater should be treated. In what process we are going to see and how it is been treated. There are several processes to treat the wastewater. Now you might have a question that how is the generation of wastewater actually? It is generation of wastewater is from the industries which we are uh, operating. They have a lot much of the wastewater generation and we need to do the harmful treatment towards it so it does not harm to the environment and not to the surface investigation also of our land. So wastewater treatment is basically a major question. In the previous session, we have discussed about the water purification technique, the drinking water which we are drinking, the water which is being used and how it is implemented. So let's discuss in detail that basically conventional method of wastewater treatment is you can see here there is a pipe of takes water to the treatment center, screening stage, primary treatment, secondary and the final treatment stage and to the filtered into the river basically so wastewater is been treated and then it can be sent into the rivers right so this is how is the conventional method now in the preliminary treatment removal of floating materials pieces of papers woods paper metal plastic etc you can also see here the primary treatment removal of large suspended organic solids you can even see to the secondary treatment basically in the secondary treatment there is the primary sedimentation tank is subjected now we are going to see about what is primary sedimentation tank to the secondary treatment biodegradable organic matter and suspended solids are removed now this is the advanced treatment to reuse the wastewater right so you can see here there are the stages of preliminary primary secondary and the advanced treatment i have just shown here the method of wastewater treatment now let's discuss that wastewater into the detail first of all let's see what are the various components in the treatment of wastewater are used this is first of all is the primary thing which we are using first see there is a tank through which it is provided to the various part so first is the collection point of wastewater when we throw the water when we let the water into the river it will be collected now we have the primary sedimentation tank come the storage tanks in which the wastewater is collected there are a big wastewater plants also to to clean the wastewater actually right to make it the hazardous free Next is you can see the aeration tank. In this aeration process is given, the air is provided into it. Next you can see the pontoon aerators means that are the aerators which are provided to the wastewater and lastly it is going to the clarifier and the filter process. So basically there is a screening process and then we are going further towards it. You can see here there is a screening chambers means the removal of paper. Yes, remember the pre preliminary treatment, removal of papers, the hard materials which are there will be removed through it. Then it goes to the grit chamber, right? Grit means what? The material which is moving with the water, the organisms, the material which is moving with the, or, uh, or with the water will go to the grid chambers unrequired will be removed from the grid chambers then you have the sludge bed sludge bed is basically to the secondary treatment that it requires the filter it will filter actually and then the sludge is the residue the last portion which is left is the sludge and that sludge will also be treated actually right so this is how is the wastewater treatment done these are the components and through this water moves water passes through these things and the wastewater treatment is provided actually right so let's move further this is the general wastewater treatment plan now have a look towards it the wastewater then it is provided with the grid so the solid removals which we have discussed already then there is the aeration means we are providing the air so the particles will be settling down right into the settler then you can see the sand filter there is the filter beds are provided disinfectants and the effluent which will be moving out even in the pre-treatment you see sludge sludge is the residue the leftover portion of the treated water is the sludge which is very helpful even we can create the sludge now let's see the next what happens wastewater will be solid removers in the aeration zone and in the secondary treatment we provide the membrane towards it right so it will water will pass through that membrane and the effluent is uh, uh, removed from that right so this is how it is helpful 
and this is the general wastewater treatment how it has been going so here i have shown both the figures of the primary wastewater and the secondary wastewater now the primary treatment you can see here it consists of removal of floating materials it removes heavy settleable inorganic solids so this is how it can be shown the screen is been shown for removal of floating matters great chambers has been shown removal of grit and sand skimming tanks are shown means in the tank removal of grease and oil can be done this is the primary stage we are doing it primary treatment it consists on removing large suspended organic solids actually sedimentation of our removing of the settleable solids so is called as sedimentation means the settled water settled particles will be removed from the sedimentation and chemical coagulation coagulation process is for the removal of the suspended organic matter in which has a high bod where what is bod it is biological oxidation process right so this is how is the chemical which is provided into it to get the removal of the hazardous material and the harmful organism the organic matter from it so this is how is the primary treatment preliminary treatment right and the sedimentation so this is the general waste water treatment plan and this is the primary treatment actually next we are moving to the primary then we are going to the secondary thing what is secondary actually you can see here the raw water we are providing the aeration we have the clarifier and the settler that portion from the general that portion from the general is actually having that right so this is of the secondary treatment now you can see here with the implementation of what that is what are the terms coming up that is the attached growth process suspended growth process trickling filter activated sludge these are the components which are related to the secondary treatment so here effluent of primary sedimentation tank is subjected to the secondary treatment in this biodegradable organic matter and suspended solids are removed by the action of aerobic and anaerobic bacteria right so this is how it is useful trickling filter and activated sludge are the filter beds which are used for the treatment of water means it is just kind of a filter layer which is provided to clear the water actually right what are the functional units it helps that it helps to absorb oxygen from air and helps to break up the organic matter quickly so this is how secondary treatment is provided in the wastewater treatment plan now secondary sedimentation tank actually what is secondary sedimentation tank basically here remove very fine suspended particle with the help of coagulants coagulants means the chemical which is provided into the water and it produces activated sludge which is very effective in oxidizing the organic matter so from wastewater only we are subtracting and extracting some of the materials and we are using it into it so basically sludge digestion tank will reduce the volume of sludge reduce the moisture content actually chlorination process is basically for the disinfectant and last is the advanced treatment it include all operations and process to remove pollutants and not removed in the primarily and the secondary treatment right soluble inorganic compounds organic contributing bod and co taste odors etc so these are the secondary sedimentation tanks and the processes of chlorination and the advanced treatment actually right next we are going to see of the futuristic method of waste water treatment what is the futuristic method of waste water treatment actually so here you can see here there is a thermal hydrolysis process the very first method it is reduction of waste by product and production of biogas waste water is treated and the sludge is collected then begins the production of biogas now you can see here there are two types first is known as bio thills thermal hydrolysis and exilis thermal hydrolysis there are two plants basically to generate and to produce the biogas right now look at the figure of the thermal hydrolysis diagram you can see here the first is raw sewage or effluent is collected it goes to the clarifier you can even see the biosolids for agricultural use dewatering it is used for the biothermal thermals and next is exilis which is required the plant size there are both plants which has a large uh, area requirement another is the less space requirement which is expensive plant basically and the biothermal is not much expensive but yes both are helpful to produce the biogas i have just shown you here the figure so you can make it out what is thermal hydrolysis process with the thermal hydrolysis of waste water we can generate biogas right which is very helpful for the steam and electricity generation next is microbial fuel cell don't get mixed up with the water purification techniques and the waste water purification techniques right that are all different land free gas methodologies are also different we are here discussing of the waste water treatment that is first is microbial fuel cell 
Use bacteria to clean wastewater. Byproducts of bacteria consumption of wastewater sludge is charged electrons and that can be converted into electricity. So basically we are using the bacteria in wastewater and that can be used to convert into the electricity. That is known as microbial fuel cell. Next is a solar photocatalyst treatment. Reduces sludge amount by 80%. Or 80% sludge is called as an organic matter. The byproduct, the residue which is left in the wastewater. So basically it is used and combined with the hydrogen peroxide to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide. So basically we reduce the amount of carbon dioxide by adding the hydrogen peroxide into it which is a solar photocatalyst treatment. Next is integrated films, fixed films activated sludge system, addition of growth media film which increases the real estate for bioreaction in the tank actually. It is a film layer which is provided that will reduce the wastewater harmness and hazardous things and it will remove the things that is the membrane aeration is provided, the membrane, permeable membrane or the membrane is provided into it, the one layer is provided into the wastewater. Last treatment you have heard about is moving bad biofilm reactor. Film is not fixed but suspended in the aerobic tanks actually. Film fixed that does not require sludge to recycle back to the unit. So these are the futuristic wastewater treatment plants which are used. Basically thermal hydrolysis is much more into the usage because it will help in the large space, in the small space. It might be expensive in the initial times, but yes, it is helpful to produce biogas. So it will be helpful in the near future for the generation of steam and electricity actually. So this is how we are using for the wastewater treatment. Integrated film and the moving bad biofilm reactors are basically costly. So it requires much of the innovations into it. Then only we can apply that things basically. So this is how actually it has been used and futuristic methods are very helpful for the wastewater treatment because generation of wastewater is very high and we need to think about it so this is all in the session of wastewater secondary primary and tertiary treatment basically you have cleared yourself that how is wastewater collected at what stage is wastewater has been uh, cleared right so in the first sense we are going to I, I would like to revise you here the process because it is important in the very first is the preliminary treatment we just remove the paper and the solid waste from it in the next is the primary treatment in that it moves to the grid you have remembered the grid in the general water uh, general wastewater treatment plant figure which I have shown from that it will remove the insoluble particles and even the hazardous things which are not going because we have kept the sieve Save means we have kept the things which through that it should not pass because it is not required in the treatment. Then we are moving to the sedimentation tank. Then we are moving to the secondary sedimentation tank. Into that we are providing aeration process means that microorganisms will be removed. The non-required thing will settle into the water at the uh, lower surface and we can remove that. Even we provide the membrane in the aeration filter, right? Membrane means through that water passes, required will be the filter, not required will not be filtered. So this is the secondary sedimentation tank. And lastly, we are providing the chlorination process, that is the disinfectant process to the water which we have cleared. And lastly, we can show to the advanced treatments, means the sludge which is collected, the residue, the uh, bio, bio, layover product which is collected from the wastewater will have the process and with the chemical process we are trying to use in the near future in the futuristic techniques yes the sludge is used in the thermal hydrolysis then we have the microbial thing then we have the integrated films membranes we are providing for the purification of wastewater because wastewater quantity generation is higher in our city and looking to the country even wastewater is generated higher so we are just trying that if the generated wastewater is clean and we can reuse that water again into our day-to-day -day life which will be very helpful on a larger scale so these things are related with each other interrelated and which is very helpful to know about that how is wastewater can be generated and how it has been reused in our day to day life. The important portion for this session student you have to remember the treatment processes which I have shown here. You have to remember the names of all the treatment processes of wastewater which I have shown here. Relate the treatment as per the slide as per the figures which I have shown here because you have to mention all the various treatments related to the wastewater. So remember the components and the stages also. I guess you are clear here with all the wastewater technologies and all even the thermal technologies, thermal hydrolysis and if there are two types of it and all the futuristic innovations for wastewater. Thank you.